Breaking news from the depths of space, a new WOW signal has been detected from Proxima Centauri, but what does it mean for the search for extraterrestrial life? Scientists have been looking to find traces of alien life for a couple of decades. The question of whether we are alone in the universe or if there is life outside the planet Earth has bugged astronomers for ages. But recently, scientists were able to separate a signal from the tons of data they were receiving from outer space and it seems like the signal came from a small red star roughly 4.2 light years away called Proxima Centauri, and it may be an indication of life beyond Earth. What makes the signal so conspicuous is that it came from Proxima Centauri b, which has the presence of liquid water on the surface and is Earth-like in many ways, making it a viable option for a habitable planet. Did the scientists finally come across an indication of the remote hint of life beyond Earth? And was this signal an extraterrestrial whisper? Join us today as we tell you more about the WOW signal received from Proxima Centauri and what it could possibly mean. Proxima Centauri is positioned in the Alpha Centauri star system, which contains the three nearest stars to the Sun and three exoplanets are orbiting it, including Proxima Centauri b, Proxima Centauri d, and the controversial Proxima Centauri c. Stars usually appear bright in our sky when they are close to our planet. Take Sirius, a star in the constellation Canis Major, as an example. Located at 8.6 light years from Earth, Sirius is the brightest star visible in the night sky, but if Proxima Centauri is so close, only 4.22 light years away, why isn't it even brighter? Proxima isn't particularly brilliant, so it's not even visible to the naked eye. The size of Proxima Centauri is to blame. It is a red dwarf star, which is one of the most frequent types of stars in the Milky Way. Less than one-eighth of the mass of our Sun is contained there. Compared to our Sun's 5,778 Kelvin, the temperature of the dim red Proxima Centauri is only 3,100 Kelvin. To put it another way, Proxima is 500 times less luminous than the Sun. Scientists have been searching for signals that could provide the slightest idea about what's out there. And unlike the radio waves, the whispers from extraterrestrials are expected to look a lot like the transmissions humans use to communicate. In April 2019, scientists discovered an unexplained signal that Australia's Parkes Observatory detected. Astronomers were using Parkes to record audio waves from powerful flares shooting off the star. However, the world's most advanced search for extraterrestrial intelligence effort and the 100 million breakthrough listen project was also searching for alien signals. In late October 2020, Breakthrough Listen intern Shane Smith discovered the signal hidden in the data with a narrowband emission at 982.002 MHz in a part of the radio spectrum rarely used by human-made transmitters. While it was not clear how or when Parks made the discovery, it seems to have occurred five times over the course of 30 minutes while the telescope was pointed precisely at Proxima over several days. And the signal disappeared when the telescope was pointed away from the star. The team began calling the signal by the name of BLC-1, which stands for Breakthrough Listen Candidate 1. And while there were chances that the signal was 99.9 .9 likely to be human radio interference, scientists were not able to track the exact source of the signal. From what we know so far, it appears that the signal was highly focused on a small range of frequencies, indicating an artificial origin, as this is not the case with any naturally occurring radio sources. The transmission was apparently monotone, meaning it was not modulated in a manner that conveyed more complex information. BLC-1 could be beaming from an object that isn't transmitting as expected. A satellite that hasn't been identified yet, a plane traveling overhead, a transmitter on the ground near the telescope's line of sight, or perhaps something even more mundane like faulty electronics in a nearby building or a passing car. But if BLC-1 turns out to be the real deal and not some human interference that maybe humans should send a reply and respond to the signal they received. But the possibility of the existence of extraterrestrial life raises concerning questions, like what beings are trying to contact humans, what do they want, or are they a threat we should worry about, or maybe they're just friendly distant neighbors. Who knows? Technologically advanced beings at Proxima Centauri could reach Earth in a few decades if they can traverse interstellar space at an appreciable fraction of the speed of light, and we could get a chance to meet them. 
After all, Breakthrough Initiatives is planning just such a venture with its Starshot project, which plans to use a powerful laser to accelerate about a thousand ultra-lightweight centimeter-sized craft attached to light sails. Such craft can theoretically attain 15 to 20 percent of the speed of light, meaning they could reach the Proxima system in 20 to 30 years. While the analysis is being done on BLC-1, many things about the signals have left scientists scratching their heads. What do you guys think about the signal from Proxima Centauri? Was it the aliens, or is it just some human interference? Do let us know what you think. We'll be reading and getting back to your comments within 24 hours. So rush to the comments section and tell us about your crazy guesses about the existence of extraterrestrial life. See you guys tomorrow with another space update. Until then, click on the video on your screen and find out what the Voyager just discovered wandering on the edge of the universe. We'll see you guys there.